Hi everybody, this is John Woodard with the John Woodard Show. Thank you for watching. We're interviewing uh, some folks with the Freedom Education First Alliance. They just held, held a really nice rally. This is Sloan, and uh, we're going to talk to her first. Sloan, uh, tell me about uh, how this got started, and, and, and how did you first get involved in the development of this organization? Well, I was an investigative journalist by trade, and so I, I got in touch with um, some other folks that had been standing strongly in the community, standing up for education, standing out against uh, division, and actually Danielle and I kind of bounced the idea around of starting this organization, and it's a group of parents, teachers, citizens um, that really stand for and fight for the dignity um, and the opportunity of every student in North Carolina K-12. How many uh, chapters do uh, are there? Just one right now? 27 chapters right now. 27, and you have personnel in each of those? We do. Uh, are you just a North Carolina division chapter, or are you responsible for all? Well, we only have North Carolina right now, and, and our feeling is we want to put our arms around the problem here. And in order to do that, we really need to figure out what makes a state-based organization successful. So we're looking to, and we must, educate not only volunteers, Right, and arm them with the oh, okay. We have to educate Everybody activists says. as well as young people on how to push back against Marxism. Well, this uh, this whole thing with uh, Brian Profit, uh, it's bad enough that uh, Tamika Bell has got his, you know, Black Lives Matter is a Marxist organization. But Brian Profit uh, is this, it's, a, it's a scary proposition uh, that a guy Liberation Front, which is a uh, Chinese front group, is, is in, has anything to do with guiding the education of our children in the Wake County. Have you ever spoken with them personally or, or any of the organizations? Well, yeah, I mean, I, I, my door is always open, and so as you know, I, I do a lot of uh, journalism and a lot of experts. responsibility for that. During public schools. And so you're right, and, and something that a lot of people don't know, but in 2018, uh, USA Today did a very big story on all schools in America. If you 
gonna, if somebody, if you're gonna, if somebody's gonna call you uh, a son of a bitch, make sure he's looking at you face to face, 100%. and there's not a in that regard and it has a lot to do with the podcast that I that I uh, we have we have a, a an online news service and a podcast and, uh, and I've got people all around that they, they, they're not in every county but they're strategically located throughout the state and they're on our border so I'll work with you on trying to engage some of those people to be your eyes and ears uh, while you transition into whatever else you need to do. That's exactly, that's exactly what we need. Danielle, how did you come into this organization? Well, to be honest with you, I remember that first picture we took at Sloan's home at her kitchen table. It was this idea that we've got to do something in education now. We've got a lot of organizations, conservative organizations even, that have worked in the school choice space, um, uh, fighting against, I guess, so to speak, you know, teachers unions, etc. But we needed something grittier. We needed somebody that was willing to get in the face of people and just say, you know what, we're not afraid to back down because we can't afford to back down because our children are too important. Um, when everybody talks about critical race theory, I feel that one of the things that they keep overlooking sometimes is the self-esteem of the black child. This idea that they're doing all of this for us, but it's not doing anything for us, and then it's also hurting others as well. Tearing somebody else down, from personal experience, has tearing somebody else down ever truly made you feel any better about anything in your own life for any significant point of time? It's, the, it it, it's, a, it's a fool's errand. It's, exactly. It's a fool's errand. So education first, which is the name of our organization, is because we've got to put education first and put everything else aside. Well, if, if we don't, if we don't do something with this uh, this younger uh, generation of uh, of students, uh, they're going to be the people that are going to go into these universities and get in and further indoctrinated, uh, and we've got to cut that off at the knees uh, and it starts right here. Yeah. Yeah, and one of the things, you know, uh, which is an important tagline for our organization is, and I want to repeat it again, you know, somebody said it, but it's fighting for the dignity in education. Everyone deserves the opportunity to learn without having to be made to feel bad about themselves or less than. So we're fighting for that dignity to be able to do that, and we don't need teachers taking that away from them. How in the world would you want to think that holding children down and, and not allowing them to achieve their full potential is good for the country? How in the world would you think that somebody that is a four or five year, six year old today is not, and when he gets to be in his late teens and twenties, uh, he's going to basically have his life set for him. How in, uh, in terms of his mindset, how how is he going to be a productive member? of society if he got the, all that crap down here and nothing in between. Yeah. I, I, it's, it's very straightforward. That isn't their goal. That isn't their goal. You can put anything with a spin on it. But the goal is ultimately to tear down this country. They're telling you, like if you look across the street, they're telling you that this country was based on racism and there is no uh, regeneration to this country. There is no kind of striving towards a better union. Okay? No one's perfect. We understand that this country has flaws, but we definitely have taken steps towards a better union. We are not a competitive that's not their goal. Their goal is actually to tear down this country and to get control because ultimately they're full power. Therefore, after your personal soul, to love you personally, and you're going to do this hypothetically. And so we understand it, we have to understand what critical race theory is. And it's just, a, it's just an offshoot of communism. Yes, it is. It's just an offshoot of communism. You've got to really understand the philosophy behind that. So people think of communism as just an economic system. It's not. Sometimes in reference 
So we understand that 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 dynamic of control that they're going after, and so we're gonna we're gonna stop it in its tracks. It's just as simple. I, I, I could stand here and talk to you folks all day, uh, but you've got other folks to talk to. Thank you so much Thank for you. talking with me. I'm going to be uh, back in touch with you, buddy. Yeah, yeah. I've got some people that I did. So I'm going to stop you. We know we have a lot to learn, so. I'll get you that information about those uh, district conventions.